Hey there, McAllister here with Tosi DIY. Today I'm going to show you the basics on how to read and use Lumetri scopes in Adobe Premiere. Now that being said, this is just a very basic understanding and I'm still very much a student and I'm learning every day, but these are some things that I've learned along my time editing video. So what you'll see on the screen right now is I've taken an OBS recording and I've, I've kind of snipped out some parts. So my, my Adobe Premiere may look a little cluttered at the moment, uh, but that's just because I've moved things around so I can independently move parts. Like you see, I've moved a little your color there, the scopes revealing there's just a big empty spot behind there. Uh, but just all the important things you need to see are on screen for this kind of instruction video. So the most important thing you'll notice is right on the right side is Lumetri Scopes. So this is actually what we'll be talking about today. And you get this by going to your window at the top and then going down below Lumetri Color and adding Lumetri Scopes. Then it'll pop up on your screen and you can start looking at it. Now when yours pops up, it may not look like this. Uh, you may have to right click on here and pick. Today we'll be looking at Histogram and Waveform Luma. You can change this. If it doesn't look directly like this when you start, go ahead and right click it. Waveform and go to Luma. It might start out looking like RGB, like so, but I use the histogram for that, so we're going to go ahead and change that to Luma. So the idea behind this is it lets you figure out some things about a shot before you even see the shot. Obviously you can look at this. Right now I've got the video of our tank PC we most recently did, and you can see there's the tank. It's blue, and over here when you look at your histogram, it'll tell you what the shot and the camera picked up. So without even needing this video, so if I were to turn this off, for instance, you could tell me that more than likely the main color in the shot will be blue because that's what we got the most of here. There may be a slight amount of green, maybe some yellow. So let me go ahead and turn that back on and boom, we got that. That is the purpose of the histogram. So when I turn that off, you see the histogram tells you what kind of colors the camera is seeing and what's really main. So if you wanted this to be a warmer shot, you can tell this is going to look cold because blue is the main color. If you want it to be warmer, you could go to your Lumetri color here and you could crank that up and make it a warmer shot. And you'd know out the gate that that's going to be a cold shot because how much blue is there. Now when we talk about the waveform, this is how dim or dark it is. And this is good for finding out contrast and things like that. So I know before I even see this shot that it's going to be darker because most of my things fall around this lower end because it goes from here all the way up when you head here this is true white 255 and this is just true black right here at the bottom when you see lines like this that are really compacted that usually means that you've overexposed your camera a little bit there and those can be hard to save so if we go down here to see the whites and start dragging down we'll see we'll bring that down now we may have saved a little bit of that color but if ever you were to see it and it be you know slammed like that and that's how your shot starts you may have some overexposed bits that you can't really save you can do your best and, and fiddle with it but you ne can't necessarily save all of it so what I've done here is I've gone ahead and set up two little shots and I'll give you a chance to kind of test remember that up towards the top will be lighter and down towards the bottom will be darker and I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the video feed and go to a different shot and you can kind of guess what you think you'd see alright so I've gone ahead and taken the the video off screen so that you can't cheat here and I've taken the Lumetri color off as well so all we have is the scopes to go off of and you can see this looks very different than it did before but this is in fact the same footage I've just changed the Lumetri color to change what it looks like so take a guess kind of mentally what this might look like not really you know the colors on the screen but just whether it's gonna be too bright or too dark or is it gonna be pretty good because it used to be all blue and now we have a lot of different colors so now that you've kind of had a chance to think about it Let's go ahead and reveal it. Boom, it looks really awful. Uh, I've taken it and I have pushed the whites all the way up. So you'll see here, now I select the clip. We've got whites at 100 and we've got exposure at 100. So a lot of this compacted here and now this is it's terrible. So as we bring it back down, you'll watch as the waveform changes and bring it back. And now we have a normal shot again. So let's try this for the next one. I'm gonna go ahead and cover and cover. And now, what do you think the problem with this one is? Notice it's been crushed along the bottom. And so, if it's crushed along the bottom, remember that this is going to be your lighter colors, this is going to be your darker colors. And now we have, you see this gray overtone on the histogram has taken over. So it's going to be a very dim shot. You've crushed a lot of your colors into this right here. So now, take kind of a mental guess of what's going to be too light or too dark. And you can see I have just cranked up anything to do with contrast or the the blacks have just brought them out and you see we, so we bring them back up because with this when you're controlling the lumetri color you're just controlling you know what is that tone of the darkest black on the screen and so now that I pull that down you can see the darkest black is very dark but gets fuzzier on these edge portions and that's just because we've we really destroyed 
the, the palettes on this. So now the goal is that you know how to read the Lumetri scopes and the waveform. And with that, you can find out where it's kind of a good spot. So when you go through here and I want to make this look nice, the first thing I'll do is often want to white balance it. So I'm looking to see along here if anything's wrong with this shot that makes me think, oh, it's going to be too much or too bad. Because I was here in person. I know what this was looking like when it was shot. And I just want to make sure that none of the colors are off. And really, we're trying to show off the RGB. And I don't really need to go through and white balance too difficultly unless I wanted to make it look warmer or colder, which is done by controlling temperature. Uh, if you've ever looked at a color wheel before, let's see if I can bring one up here. Uh, we go through here and scroll down and creative, I believe. So when you look at a color wheel, your up and down axis is hot or cold, red or blue on the opposite end. And then you have tint, which is going to be left and right, green or purple. Those two contrast each other. So if you want to be more like a sci-fi movie, you oftentimes go towards that bluish purple. And when you want to be more in that kind of unnerving or weird you go towards that green it doesn't look natural it's not a typical color if you want to reset your your tints or anything in this window you just double click it that's a real easy way to do it uh will save you some time so yeah when you're looking at all this this section here is for color grading that's more of an opinion based thing so if you think it looks better you could apply it so let's say this fuji you know f125 kodak looks nice i double click it and it gets applied uh, i don't personally like that but and this correction, for me, I really, contrast looks good to the eye, so I always want to bring that up a little bit. And I'm making sure to watch here. And if any of this becomes flat along that, then I, I don't want that to stay that way. So I'm going to do a little bit here. And then the exposure, I may want to drag back or up, kind of find out what spreads these colors out. And this is really based on what you think. Don't, don't ever let someone get really, really on you. Uh, if this waveform is not being crushed on either side, you really just decide what you like and, and go from there. Uh, because anything, any decision you make is really just an artistic choice at that point. And it's, it's your video, so kind of do what you want. So we're just kind of scrub, make sure that we, did, we didn't we did do anything that makes it look bad. So had I gone cranked up on the red here, it might have looked bad along this spot. Or if I'd gone too blue, it might have been too bright. So that's kind of what I would do with it. I would, I would leave it here personally, and I think you'll see in the video I did something along this line and left it there and you can see that fog looks awesome the tank looks great obviously didn't crush anything didn't take the the blacks too far up or down or the whites too high or low and that's that's the basics of it so i hope that helped out and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and until next time peace